guys, it's Vaughn. Welcome back to another favorites video. I know it's been a minute, okay? It's been forever, but I wanted to just jump back into it, y'all, because I missed sharing these types of videos. These are actually my favorite types of videos to produce. I think in my most comfy form, right? I'm sitting in front of the camera just talking to you guys. So I wanted to just get it right back going. If you're new here and you're not familiar with my favorites videos, they're designed to be posted once a month where I kind of just compile and share favorites, right? Products, things to eat, experiences, all kinds of stuff. And I hadn't done it in a while, so here we are, okay? And because we're jumping back in and it's been a while, I don't have a whole lot to share. I'd much rather just catch up with you guys and kind of just talk. So I don't have a whole bunch of products to show, but I do have a handful of cool things that I think you guys will enjoy. So as usual, right, if I have links for things that I mentioned today, I will post them down in the description box. So in true favorites form, let's just start off by talking about my look today. Y'all, I'm really excited about these braids, okay? <laughs> you ain't gotta ask me no questions because I'm gonna tell you, all right? If you guys saw my last vlog, I kind of talked about the braids, but if you hadn't seen it, um, I'll put the links, you can check it out. But these are the Goddess Boho braids and I'm kind of new to this technique, but once I started doing it, I fell in love, right? These are my favorite types of braids. I think this installation is probably my favorite one that I've done so far and I've experimented, right? I've tried it with human hair, different lengths of the braiding hair, different types of hair, you know, human versus the master mix versus the full on synthetic. So I feel like I've kind of got a nice feel for the landscape, right? For these braids and kind of deciding, you know, what's the best methods, what's the best hair to use and just kind of figuring out those kind of trade-offs and things. So for this particular installation, I used um, the, I think 32 inch braiding hair to get the braids and then for the loose kind of wavy look that's blended in there, I used um, the Organique Master Mix hair. Actually, I'm lying, it's not the Organique, this is the model model one and the curl pattern is Italian curl. I bought two of these bags, I don't know why I thought I would need two, okay? Only ended up using like a fraction of one bag. So I'll have this one for next time, but I usually try to go for the color two. So with this Master Mix hair, right, it's a blend between human and synthetic and it has a tendency to have more friction and it stays better, so I don't get that shedding, you know, feel when I use this hair. The trade-off though for that is that it is not human hair. It is, you know, has some synthetic components. And so there's a lot of tangling and knotting and matting, right? If you don't take really, really good care of it. For some people that's a deal breaker, but for me, it's a pretty fair trade-off. I'd rather deal with tangles than deal with hair all over my house. <laughs> that's why I decided to go with this hair instead. And it's staying so nicely, y'all. What I love most about it is those little curls, the kind of loose hair that's intertwined. It really gives the look of like full, um, effortless braids and I it, I just absolutely love that. Like, I love that about these types of braids. And they're really lightweight, right? For it to be so much hair, it's like extremely lightweight. So this is really easy for the gym. I can do a top knot bun and my bun is not like huge. So it's not a nuisance at all. It's just so perfect and I love it. <laughs> do you guys have a favorite type of braid that you typically go for? Like a particular braid style? Let me know in the comments. So the skirt that I'm wearing today is actually from Amazon and so are my booties. This top, this turtleneck is actually a dress. It's like a mini dress and I ordered it from Fashion Nova. For my lip color, right, this is something a little bit different that I'm trying, y'all. I went a little more bold on the liner than I normally do, but I do feel like that's kind of a look that's trending right now, so I wanted to try it. You guys gotta let me know what you think. I think it's cute, I kinda like it. For the liner, I used um, a MAC pencil called, I forgot the name of the liner, so I'll put it on the screen for you guys. But I am wearing Snob lipstick, which is another MAC product for my base and then I'm just using the MAC Lip Glass to gloss it up. A very neutral kind of nude look, but still makes a statement. All right, so let's get into some products, okay? The first thing I wanna talk about is my nails. You guys may have noticed um, that my nails are white. These are actually my natural nails, and they've gotten pretty long, y'all, because I've been taking my supplements and drinking my water, and it's been kind of really showing through in the growth of my hair and my nails. It's actually one of the reasons these braids are so long is because my real hair is bra strap length now, so I have to braid quite beyond the length of my hair in order for it to really work. And since we're talking about vitamins, let me just show you guys the vitamins I've been taking. These are uh, a brand called Voost, and it's a multivitamin for women. These are actually little gummies. And I got this from CVS. They're so tasty. 
they taste so good. I feel like that helps with taking your multivitamins, your daily vitamins, if they taste good, right? And I like having the gummies versus swallowing the big horse pills. So I've been taking these and then kind of toggling between this and my, you know, my regular prenatal. And just kind of between the two of them, I've been kind of staying up on my supplements. And I think it's been having positive results, like I say, because my hair and my nails are growing. One thing I've been using on my nails that I've always used because it's tried and true, but you guys asked me about it a lot, so I figured I'd include it, is my Nail Teaks Formula 2. I am able to order these products on Amazon. I feel like I got this one as like a two pack. And this is so good for growing out strong nails that can resist against breaking and you know thinning and just making them strong to kind of withstand the day-to-day -day, everyday use of your hands because if I had to be all delicate about my nails y'all I probably wouldn't have them because y'all know I like to do a lot of like DIY stuff around the house I work a lot with my hands with cleaning and everything I can't have nails that are weak so I feel like the nail teaks works really well for like strengthening your nails keeps them nice and healthy and beautiful and pretty that's the other thing the nails look good when you use this anytime I take a break right from using acrylics or you know no chip nail polishes and all that stuff whenever my nails are exposed to any kind of damage I always turn to my nail teaks formula too because it's gonna get me together every single time I also decided this time to go ahead and just use the nail polish remover as well this one is non acetone and it contains different essential oils to really replenish and nurture your nails while you're taking off your polish so I figured if I'm going to be going natural and going the healthy route I need to revamp all of my products right you can't use like a healthy nail protein and then you're using like acetone on your nails you're still causing damage so I wanted to switch to a non acetone fingernail polish remover and so I went for the nail teaks one because I'm like that's a brand I trust and I've been loving my results okay let's continue the beauty conversation right I have some skin products right here that I want to share with you guys I want to start off by talking about this uh, sunscreen right it's called Silk Screen and it's by a company called Agency. And I talked about this in my last vlog, but I'm like, it's a favorite, legit. So let me put it in the favorites video. This is the only uh, sunblock sunscreen product that I've ever tried in my life um, that legitimately does not cause any you know residue or flashback on dark skin this is the only one and what makes this one so special is that it actually is a tinted product right so it actually looks like foundation liquid foundation when you squeeze it out of the bottle and then when you put it on it just kind of melts into your skin and it, like I said it doesn't give you like that residue that glare you know that looks really bad in pictures it feels like lotion and it disappears into your skin and I think it's the tinted factor right that makes all the difference I would highly recommend this one y'all and the way agency works is more of a subscription and so you go and fill out a questionnaire on the website answer a bunch of skincare questions and they basically prescribe products to you and help you create um, a skincare regimen based on the issues and challenges that you shared in the questionnaire so it's really good it's really a tailored experience you get customized products just for your skin concerns and that's the part that I love the most about it because for me it's not an option to not wear sunscreen whether it looks good or not I am wearing it because I do not want my skin to get pretty prematurely aged by the sun or damaged in any way and so I love products like this that make it easy to wear and you don't have to feel like you look crazy while protecting your skin. All right this next one is the Hydra Laron Moisture Jelly and it's from Indeed Laboratories. Y'all this one blew me away because I was not expecting to like it so much. One of the agencies that works with this brand actually sent this to me in a PR package and I gave it a try. Y'all I have used this so much. I freaking love it for in the morning when I'm getting my face ready for the day. It's a jelly product and it feels like a gel right? It's a similar consistency to like a hair gel that you would use except not sticky extremely moisturizing I've used so much of this I'm just obsessed I really really like it it makes my skin really supple when I touch it like this it makes my face feel really wet and like I'm really retaining moisture so this is something that I use right after I do my cleansing routine and it's really really nice and last but not least is this pure goat milk moisturizing lotion from a company called Beekman 1802 <laughs> this was another product that I received as a PR package, so it was gifted. And um, again, I didn't expect to like it as much. Um, I just figured, you know, it's just another lotion, another moisturizer. What could be so special about it? Well, y'all, this is some of the creamiest uh, moisturizer that I've ever used. This is a sample size, so I believe they do have larger quantities on the website. So I was using this um, for the most part on my face, hands, and body. So basically all over. And it's really quite nice, you guys. It is unscented, so it's no weird smell or anything because that was the first thing I did was smell it. I'm like, goat milk? Let me see what this smells like. But it wasn't weird or anything. It was just so creamy, y'all. 
all and it absorbs into the skin fairly quickly so you don't have like that residue or that leave behind right and it's just so thick and rich of a moisturizer that you guys have got to try it if you have not already yeah i have some of the driest skin known to man <laughs> and woman <laughs> so i really um enjoy moisturizing products right so if i tell you something is moisturizing you must believe me because i am a really ashy person i get i have really dry skin not on my face but the neck down so dry so i have to have products that truly moisturize not just claim to this is a little unexpected as well y'all actually anthony bought this this is his facial steamer okay and i had to give it a try because i'm like what is this it's called pure daily care and i do believe he ordered this on amazon it's a facial steamer room humidifier towel warmer all in one based on that alone you're getting your money's worth but here's how it actually worked out when I tried it so here it is my pure daily care facial steamer towel warmer and room humidifier say that three times it comes with a little cup for easy water filling and a blackhead and blemish kit which not everyone will need because I definitely don't use stuff like this but here's how you set up your steamer right it's super easy just remove the little tank on the back side and fill it with water you're supposed to only use distilled water with this steamer because anything else even bottled water can cause it to malfunction over time from buildup so I'm just using some purified infant water once filled just return the tank and change the setting to facial steamer and after about two minutes you'll start to see some steam so it's best to test the steam's temp with your hand before coming near it with your face this will help you determine how close to get so you don't get hurt because baby the steam is hot honey but it feels amazing it's definitely giving spa vibes kind of reminds me of those steam rooms at that bathhouse I went to it's tempting but unfortunately you're not supposed to add any oils or fragrance to this which is a bummer because that would have been so nice I'm using the steamer on an already clean face by the way next I kind of want to test out the towel warmer feature so I'm just soaking a face cloth with water and placing it inside the steamer head you can use this feature with a wet or dry towel which I thought was kind of neat after about five minutes I came back to check on my towel and baby it was hot you guys wouldn't be able to get this just from watching the video but I actually had to wait a bit before picking up the towel because it was just that hot but when it touched my face it was so nice you guys this is the perfect way to end a skin cleansing routine but you can honestly use it at any point in your process I think this is a really nice gift for either yourself or someone you love I can definitely see myself using this most days but especially on the weekends after a nice hot shower now that my face is all clean I'm gonna do the rest of my skincare routine I have a lot of skincare products as you can see a mixture between really nice high quality items and things from the drugstore but I only reach for what is needed that day I don't have like a mind this ritual that I do so like for example when I cleanse my face before the gym I don't tone and add serums and all that stuff because I know it's just gonna sweat off but when I get home later after the gym I practically do a full facial my routine also changes if I'm low on time so I don't pamper my skin every single day and you shouldn't beat yourself up if you don't either so I love this product, you guys. I'm telling you, okay, a luxury experience, hands down. So I will definitely be using this more often and I'll try to put the link below if I can find it. And I gotta talk about this candle because it's a legit favorite, y'all. I talked about this candle a couple vlogs back and it's just, it blew me away, y'all. I just love this candle so much, okay? So I got it from Crate and Barrel, just stumbled upon it. I was just walking around like, oh, let me see about these candles over here. They smelled amazing. They came in really nice packaging too. I wish I had kept it so I could show you guys, but the packaging was really nice. It says City Gardens Chicago and I guess the fragrance is leather and clove. And the thing about it is it smells amazing, right? But that's just the start of it. This candle burns really slow. So I have burned it for so long and so often and it's only just right there you know what I mean so it burns really slow good quality ingredients it doesn't leave like that soot mess all around in the wax area so I like that about it too it's not unsightly it actually looks good while you have it on display whether it's in your bedroom on the nightstand or on your coffee table whatever but it radiates throughout the entire house you guys so there's no reason i should be lighting a candle on the first floor and i can smell it on my second floor i'm just saying it gets around and it's such a pleasant nice subtle scent and it just smells like home you know when you come inside your house and it's nice and clean and you have a nice candle going you want it to smell like this you know so i highly recommend this i gotta get more all right let's shift gears a little bit and i want to just share with you guys my Stanley cup that I got. I didn't think I'd get one of these, but I had to go ahead and do it. Um, mostly though for um, my active lifestyle, right? Exercising outside, exercising in the gym. I needed a good sturdy cup that was going to be able to keep up with me and keep my beverages cold. So I got this one um, from Dick's Sporting Goods, right? And I wanted one specifically with the top handle 
so I can just like take this thing with me really easily. I can run around the gym with it. And I specifically was looking for one with a straw that I could tuck away. Y'all, I have a story I have to share. It's gonna gross y'all out. So if you don't wanna be grossed out, this is the time to leave the video. <laughs> I don't wanna scare you, okay? But I did have a weird situation happen where something got down in my straw and it was alive, okay? And that's all I'm gonna say. I don't wanna gross y'all out, but that's the type of stuff that happens. And so it scared the socks off me and it changed everything about how I approach like these kind of cold cups. And I don't even want one ever again where I can't tuck away the straw. I think this is probably more sanitary and everything else. Because let me tell you, when I'm in the gym and I got my water bottle, it's with me at every workout station. So I'm, you know, it's like right there. I don't really want my straw to be like, out and like saying hi to everyone. You know, it's gonna catch anything in the wind. You know, someone sweat, someone spit, you know, anything. Or someone accidentally brushing against it, you know? So I like being able to like, tuck my straw away. And so that was the whole point of me getting this cup. And I just wanna recommend this style of Stanley cup to you guys if you are truly an active person and you have this kind of cup on the go with you, like myself, this is the one you need, okay? The one with the freaking retractable straw. And I like how it tapers at the bottom. It can go right into my cup holder in the car. So this is truly an on the go cup and it's perfect for me. <sighs> and last but not least, I want to share some granola with y'all. This is by New Trail. I got it from my local grocery store and the reason I picked it up was because I wanted some granola. Um, and I'm a huge fan of like cinnamon and pecan, those kind of flavor profiles. This one is special because it's no sugar, well no added sugar. And that's huge for us because we're trying to eat healthy, we're trying to achieve fitness goals. Y'all know Effie's trying to lose weight, I'm trying to tighten up, I'm trying to get stronger, you know? And so we ain't got time for sugar, we just don't. And um, stuff like this is great because you're not compromising taste or texture or the experience of having granola, but you're, you know, cut, giving yourself a break against all the sugar because that's what's really gonna sabotage your fitness goals. And so that's why I picked this one and I was really surprised that it was so delicious. You don't miss the added sugar. I mean, there's gonna be some sugar in here. It's got one gram, you know, cause some stuff just naturally is kind of sweet and has its own sugar and there's a couple grams of carbs or whatever, but it's no added stuff. That's really where we make the biggest mistakes when we get to adding in stuff that doesn't belong. So this is super delicious, y'all. I like to use it to garnish my Greek yogurt. That's the main thing. Today I made some parfaits for us for breakfast. So I went ahead and used a baking piping bag because I ain't got time for a messy parfait trying to fool around with a spoon, okay? And I just layered in some blueberries and raspberries and topped it with some of this granola and a little bit of drizzle of honey and it's so delicious. Girl, I made one of these parfaits for Anthony and he absolutely loved it. He was like, dang, this is good. And I owe a lot of the credit to this new trail. So I just wanted to recommend that to you guys if you haven't tried it already. Ah, okay, I think we've gotten to the end of this video. This is the part I hate because I love favorites. <laughs> so we are at the end of this video, you guys. Um, I had a lot of fun jumping back into the favorites with y'all. Hey, listen, if you guys missed these videos and you want to see more, let me know by liking this video and commenting down below. Tell me your favorite category of these videos so that I know which things to kind of more so focus on because like today was really random. It was like all over the place. But let me know, you know, what category of products you guys would like to see more from me. So that's it, you guys. And I look forward to seeing y'all on Sunday. So I will talk to you guys then. Bye.